that you and Sister Susie or, or Brother Joe, you're going to have the same experience? Have you ever looked at some Christians that it seemed just to, to fly through life? God just seems to be blessing them every step of the way. Well, God deals with us and He knows what we need. God allows and permits certain things into our life. Sometimes it's our own choosing, isn't it? I feel, I feel, I feel bad for God sometimes. He gets to blame for everything. He is he's the scapegoat of humanity. He, you ever notice insurance companies even? If something gets destroyed, it's an act of God. But if you see a beautiful sunset, oh, look at Mother Nature. I mean, our world is against God. But he says, I will remember your wonders of old. God is faithful. Faithful is he that has promised who also will do it. Faithful is he that has called you who also will do it. God will not uh, go back on his promises. Then he says, verse 12, I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of your doings. See, that's to replace, um, that's to replace what wants to come out of your mouth. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak. You want to know what somebody's heart's like? Just listen to them for a couple minutes. You can see what's in their heart. But I will meditate. Do you know what meditation means? You know what it means to meditate? I'm not talking about the Eastern religion garbage. I'm not talking about that. Biblical meditation. You know what it means? It means to say to yourself. Speak to yourself. Right? That's what it means. You know, when we see, uh, after some of these verses, it says, Selah. Mm -hmm. That means stop, pause. Think about what you just read. Take a moment. If this, you know, psalms are songs, really. That could be a pause in the music if they were singing it to music. But it's a time where you just stop. Just be quiet. Have you learned the art of being quiet? Be quiet and do your own business, Paul says to the believers, to the Thessalonian believers. Study to be quiet. That's an interesting thing, isn't it? Study to be quiet. I've told people that before. They've said, they're just running a mile a minute. I want to do this. I want to do this for God. I want to do this for God. I said, you know what, brother? I feel like God wants you to do. Study to be quiet. Just be quiet. He'll use you in your time. Just be quiet. And be still. And he did it. And it really, God blessed him. See? And so meditating of God's work. You've got to speak to yourself. And, and, and tell yourself. And meditate on the work of God. And he says, and talk of his doings. Meditation is for yourself. Talking is to other people. I gotta admit, my flesh likes to complain. How you doing today? Most of us will lie and say, all right, or good. But you know what? Like to our spouses, we can complain, right? We can let them have it. We can tell them all about why we're in such a foul attitude. You know, I, I love it. I, I love how people uh, can excuse being mean. Right? I got I got a reason to be mean. It's because of these three things. That's why I can be mean. Well, they're all excuses. He says, I will remember your work. I'll talk of your doings. You, you want to be encouraged in, in your problem? Start talking to people. Talk about what God does. Get yourself refocused on the will of God. And you know what? If you've been born again, uh, it, you're going to see the kingdom of God. But you know what? There are some people that are not born again. Go out there and talk to them. Tell them about what the Lord does. Tell them what Jesus means. Jehovah saves. Speak of them, to them. And, and watch, uh, watch how your countenance will change. You know, David said that in Psalm 42. He says, they say unto me, where is your God? Right? That's... that's that's what the question that comes to us. Where's your God at now? Boy, you've never seen a problem like this one before. 
Now it's time to be hopeless. Boy, that's a serious pain you got. Like I remember Bill Oden's testimony of uh, when he went through, I think it was kidney stones. Uh, he was struck with pain and, and Satan spoke to him and he said, this is serious. This is serious. And Bill began to speak back. You know, we can speak back. Mm -hmm. And he began to proclaim the name of the Lord. And he's a God that does wonders. And his ways in the sanctuary, uh, who is so great a God is our God. You notice how the psalm started and, and where it's going? Uh, he ends up with encouragement. So, let's, you know, uh, Bobby doesn't say to me very often, hey, I have something I want to share. So when Bobby says he has something he wants to share, I listen to it. And I appreciate Bobby. He's been faithful uh, here many years. I think he was here before I was born. <laughs> I'm not sure, Bobby, but... <laughs> but um, you know, when, when, something, when somebody has a word, they feel like it's from the Lord, which I felt like that was. I do believe that. The, the word is delivered. Like the prophet of old spoke the word of the Lord. Now, now where, where does the responsibility rest now? It's on the people, isn't it? When God speaks, it requires a response. So, um, the response is that God, we will put our trust in you. Psalm 61 says, um, My soul, wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is of Him. My expectation is of the Lord. So, as we've been thinking about, our, about faith, and our faith in God, um, let's just be encouraged as we've gone through some real trials.